Well, okay. Uh, let's uh, let's do a blast in uh, in a Mac terminal. Why would you do a blast in Mac terminal? Well, because it's way way faster than doing it online or using a program. So if you have, if, if you have a particular sequence that you want to blast against, I don't know, um, some thousand genomes or one uh, large genome, uh, I think this is the this is the way to do it. So first of all, installing blast on a on a Mac. Let's just install blast Mac. So let's install the command line application. This uh, this install links will be in the uh, in the description below. So let's go to Blast Executables, and this uh, this will list, as you can see here, all of the versions. I'm gonna go to the latest one, so latest version. Uh, <clears throat> as you can see, this um, this executables are for win both the Windows, the Linux, and uh, and for Mac. I'm just interested in the in the installation package right here, so in the DMG. So let me download the DMG package. Okay, this will probably take a while. So let's pour some coffee in the meantime. So. What I want, uh, what I actually want to accomplish is, um, um, I don't know if you uh, if you have seen my uh, my video with the SARS CO2 uh, vaccine. I chose two epitopes from the S protein, right from the from the SARS from the coronavirus genome, and I want to blast it against as many uh, possible sequences, right, to see if it suffered any mutation in uh, in any way or if it's uh, the same sequence so i want to see if it's if the sequence is conserved in uh, as many viruses as possible so i and i can do that uh, very simple with uh, with blast you you're just going to blast the sequence the dna sequence against um a well a database that i'm going to download i'll show you exactly how and see whether your sequence is still there right and uh, whether it suffered any mutation on the way and so on but as i know the s protein uh, seems highly conserved in the in the virus genome okay so let's just double click this and it's going to open up the the blast installer double click here right just install the blast okay so the installation was successful let's check this out in terminal so this is the terminal app right first of all we type pwd to see in which directory are, uh, we are so we're in users and right now let's just go blast x minus version okay this uh, this shows us our uh, our installed version of blast x so it's 2.10 is the exact uh, version that we installed so we have blast installed in uh, in our mac right now uh, let's do another thing right now so i created di a directory in uh, in desktop right and i want to go into it because i don't want to write uh, huge path names so this will be our working directory right right there so let's go cd or change directory let's go to desktop this command right here uh, shows us all of director or all, all of the directories in desktop so i want to go in this one so i'll go cd corona Right, and this is uh, this will be our working directory. Uh, next, let's download the uh, the viral sequences. So this is the the world's biggest database of, uh, as you can see here, we have EpiFlu, so the flu virus, and the COV virus. 
why did I do that right now? Okay, let's just go, go to Epic Calf. Go to Browse. Right, so these are all of the viral sequences uh, that have been uploaded. So we have 25,000. Uh, I don't want 25,000, I just want, let's say, the sequences uploaded from uh, from the 1st of April to today, right? I'm going to select all of them, so we have 8,000 in total. So these are the sequences uploaded in the last month, right? And we're going to download them as a FASTA file. And this will take a while, probably because it's uh, it's quite a big uh, big file. Let's just see. No, yeah, it's going to take it's 251 megabytes. But you'll see how just how easy and uh, how fast the blast in the terminal actually is. Let's wait. Okay, so 8,000 genomes downloaded. We need to uh, to move this right into our folder, so into our Corona folder. Okay, and right right now, if we list the files in the Corona folder, it's gonna show us this. Okay, the next thing uh, we need to do is um, make a FASTA file out of our query or our sequence. So this is an app gene right here. I want to, uh, to query this sequence. So this 400 base sequence versus our genomes. So I'm just going to copy this and make a new file. Basically you can do this uh, using any program, even a, even a text editor. So let's just call it query DNA. And importantly, I need to save this as a FASTA file. Okay. In our folder right here. Okay. So let's list this. Both files are in the folder right now. Now we, went to, we want to create a database out of this file right here. Let's just copy this, okay, and go to, um, I have a file right here with all of the commands that, uh, that I'll need. So here are all the blast commands. This is just a regular txt file. Let's copy this, paste it in the terminal. So, okay. without the tag here. So what this says is actually, it says make blast database in file. So in file we're gonna need to copy this one because this is our file. Right? Database type. We can choose from nucleotide protein or string. But since we don't want to, uh, to blast proteins, we want to blast nucleotides. I'm going to go to nucleotides, out, path to database. And now in instead of inserting the whole path right here, I'm just going to say db, right? Because the db is in our working folder. Okay, building a new database. So it uh, it added the all of the sequences, all the eight thousand of them, to um, to a database in three point six five seconds. Let's list. As you can see, we have here our file, our query, and um, all of these files right here with the strange terminations are the database. So you can see this is the DB. Let's go to commands right now and uh, let's uh, let's make a blast. Let's just copy this and paste it into the terminal. So here, 
so it's blast n so from for blast nucleotides minus query so this will be the query file right here so we'll say query.fa okay minus database and path to database but our database is just db with capital letters this one uh, this uh, thing um, prompts the the terminal to export them into a, another file so let's call it blast.txt so this will export uh, our blast into a txt file let's see okay this is done so you can see ls we have blast.txt right here so this is our blast let's open it open uh, blast.txt and as you can see it opened right so in blast right here so um, we have a query of 411 base pairs what I want to do here these are all the viral genomes all 8000 of them I want to, to watch at the score so basically 760 would be the highest score possible that means that uh, uh, no, de no deletions, no gaps and uh, all, the, all of the bases uh, fit perfectly versus the, uh, the ones here right so we have a score of 760 let's check if any score changed from here well it didn't so what this tells me is that my portion, so this line right here, the top strand, okay, fits perfectly versus uh, the viral genomes. So all of the FASTA files, all 8,000 of them, right? So this is our query from nucleotide 1 to nucleotide 411, and this is the subject or the viral genome. This, for example, is uh, one in England, right this one's from Scotland for example England whatever so all of them are right here but as you can say uh, um, as I said I'm more interested in the scores right here Okay, so what this tells me is that I can, in theory, use those epitopes. So the virus didn't uh, mutate, at least in that part. So uh, hopefully someone found, uh, found this useful.